Hey guys, we return with Heavy Rain. Scott Shelby, how you doing, sir? So, you claim the victim was killed while you were in his shop, correct? Yes, he went to get something in his office. A few minutes later, I went in to see if he was okay. That's when I found him. You should have called the police immediately, Mr. Shelby. Would have saved us dragging your ass down here. But my ass is so fine. Listen, I know you want to see it. nothing to do with this murder. We were only there by coincidence. I just wanted to spare myself a few hours declaring I didn't see anything to a police officer. P.I. or not, Mr. Shelby, don't leave town. And if you end up next door to any more dead bodies, remember to call us. Okay? Don't tell me how to live my life. Well, well, Scott Shelby. You in trouble again? Punch him. Wrong time, wrong place. You know what it's like. Don't sweat it. I'll take care of it. For old time's sake. Thanks, Carter. I owe you one. Oh, your you friends with Blake? At the moment? Well, I got some ideas. Nothing concrete. Well, if it goes beyond the idea stage, you'd tell me about it, wouldn't you, Scott? Sure. That wasn't sarcastic at all. Alright, Lauren, let's go. Time to going. <laughs> what? I'm taking you home. I was it's gonna make a joke, never mind. No way. We're partners, remember? We had a deal. This isn't a game, Lauren. Manfred was murdered because he knew the identity of the killer. He was ten feet away, for Christ's sake. No. I can't take a chance on the killer getting that close to you again. I'm not a child. I know what I have to do. I've got to find my son's killer. You're not going to stop me. And then we punched her. And stopped her. Well, then you can find him without me. I refuse to be responsible for anything that goes wrong. Whoa! Stop the car. What? Stop the fucking car! Oh my god, woman driver. Oh, jeez. Come on now, crazy. Look what you did. Get out in the ring. Get out. You're not gonna help me find the bastard who killed my Johnny. I'll do it on my own. Oh, tension horse standing in front of the car. Time to put the pedal to the metal. This girl's stubborn as a mule. She doesn't let up, with or without me. It's all my fault. I should never have let her come with me. I can't just leave her like that. She'd do anything to find the guy who killed her son. Alright, then let's go. Come on. Laura! Get back in. Crap, I have no choice. I guess I'm doing this to protect her. You miss him. miss him so much. I'd do anything to hold him once again in my arms. What a gentleman. Pretty sure you can totally kiss her right there. <laughs> and you get, you know, you can make it all romantic. Uh, but yeah, I guess that didn't work. Um, but I know last time I played, they like kiss, and I was like, what? <laughs> no, Lauren, no. <laughs> Come on. You can, you can get better than Scott. Nothing against him, but like, you know, moldy oldie. 
<laughs> moldy oldie. I guess he's he's like he seems nice, but uh, I don't know. Maybe she needs like a daddy figure, and that's why she's a prostitute. So Scott is good for her. I don't know. Thursday, eleven fifteen a.m. Three point three six six inches. Oh no, Ethan! What are you doing? You can't kill someone. You can't do that. I don't think I've ever killed this person when I've played. Yeah? What do you want? Oh, fuck it. I said a thousand times that I don't want any junkies at my door. If you want to score, man, you gotta fucking call first. Come on. You're Wait. a drug dealer, huh? Maybe I have killed him. I don't remember. I think I did kill him once. Slap him. Fuck! Are you deaf or what? I should get out of here. You're gonna cost. Bap. Me hey. Take it easy, man. Huh? Keep cool. <laughs> what do you want? Dope. Money. Tell me what you need. Sure, we can make a deal. Huh? I'm gonna blow your brains out, you son of a bitch! Oh, dang. We need to go. <laughs> See, he's got a shotgun. He's not gonna miss with that. Oh my god, I just got <laughs> that bookcase fell on me. <laughs> um, yeah, shotguns, like, that close up. You don't, you don't really have much to miss with there. <laughs> oh no, it's a children's room. In your body. I can hear Oh This scene is really laggy for some reason. Like there's frame rate issues. <laughs> Hold it, man! I give you whatever you want. Got dope? I got cash? You you want some dope? Please. Please don't kill me, man. I got children. These are my girls, see. This one's Sarah. And a little one. That's Cindy. Please, man. Both little whores. <laughs> I'm just joking. Please. Please. I'm not gonna shoot him. Shoot. <laughs> True story though. When uh, me and my boyfriend were looking for houses, uh, we we found a really cool house. Uh, I'm a but father too. <laughs> but it had a drug room. I'm no killer. And it had fake children's rooms. Like you could tell children did not live there. But there was like a, a playground set up outside. Or like a swing set um, and children's room with like nothing in them except for like the furniture it was really sketchy but yeah there was this locked door that we couldn't get open and then like we, we ended up opening it um, with like one of the keys I don't know it ended up being open medicine next and uh, me the realtor and my boyfriend went in there and it was definitely a drug room. Like, it had, like, a ventilation system, all silver walls, lighting. Uh, and then Matt, the house itself. It's Sam. I got your information. Uh, the owner of the apartment in Marble Street is a Dr. Adrian Baker. He's a struck-off surgeon. He used to sell drugs to junkies on the quad. He made some cash and bought up some cheap-ass apartments, including the one in Marble Street. Of course, he got caught. He did a few months in prison and was struck off the medical register. Interesting. Thanks for the information, Sam. I owe you one. Hey, Matt. Be careful, okay? I'm on it. Talk to you later. So, anyways, this house had, like, a complete uh, security system. Like, there were cameras 
everywhere outside. There the were monitors set up. The owner of can cut off his finger lips in here. In every room. It's not much of a lead, but it's all I've so got. So that this guy could keep tabs on, like, what was going on on the security cameras. It was crazy. We should have got that. It was a pretty cool house, too. It had, like, a... It had its own lake. But, you know, you don't want a drug house. Um, because who knows what crazies might go there. You like young pussy? Hi. Oh, God. No. I was told that you could get bitropin. Without a prescription. Sorry. You were misinformed. Goodbye. Bitch! Hold on. I, I, I really need your help here. I can pay. Well, why didn't you say so? Please, come in. What? <laughs> like, she wasn't going to pay to begin with. I need drugs. Like, oh, yeah, oh, you know, I wasn't going to pay at all. I just want them for free. <sighs> Stupid. So, you're looking for betropid, my dear? Are you having trouble sleeping? How much do you need? I don't know, um, about three, four boxes. He looks like a corpse well, in a coffin. Uh, that shouldn't be a problem. Would you like a drink? I was just about to have one. Or a casket. Like, uh, if you guys have been to a funeral and s s seen the body, no he has that, like... I'll take that as a guess. I don't know. He has that look. That, like, done-up body look. I don't know. That's, like, that's what I get from this guy. It e it's a little eerie. I haven't seen you around here before. Who told you about me? Um... I don't know. I can't remember. My brain's fried with all these pills. Can't tell Dave from night half the time. See, you never drink something from a stranger. Do you have many clients? A few. I help to ease their anxiety. Am my hands been off, thin enough, hard working enough? I reassure those who find the system too difficult. I'm like a safety valve that keeps society from imploding. Um, you're probably not that important. <laughs> not to be a dick. I heard you had some apartments for rent. I'm looking. Sorry, darling. Those are all booked up. Shame. I was looking for something around Marble Street. Bitch, what'd you say? Marble Street. You're not drinking? No! I am, um, I'm, I'm not really thirsty. You're a fucking creep, doctor. Why would I, I drink your shit? It won't be a moment. Probably Wait have here. a prescription right in there. Probably put like 10 roofies. That guy gives me the creeps. I better take a look around to see if I can find anything before he gets back. Bam, 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 bam. Bam, bam, bam. Quick. I gotta find something. It's in here. Is that just outside? Maybe a quick look behind those doors. I'll make up some lies if he finds me. Alright, so in the doors. We're gonna go in this one? That was so loud. Why can't she, like, move right? Surgical gowns? I thought he stopped performing operations. Must nope. Must be some kind of a weird nostalgia for the past. It would've been so funny if, like, he was just behind her in the mirror and... Like, he sneaked up. Paco. Blue Lagoon. 
Oh, what's in here? Looks like he retired a bunch of medical supplies on his way out. There's enough sleeping pills here to knock out an army. You never know. I like how I'm just opening these super loud. This one's easy to explain. I had to shit. Guess not. Get out of there. Ah! <laughs> little ferret. We're gonna have some fun together, my darling. I promise. Bam, bam, bam. <laughs> That's when Madison woke up naked. Ah. Say hello to Matthew. He claimed he had come to the census. Another one of those goddamn government spies. So, you're interested in my Marble Street apartment. I rented it to my friend Paco, if you must know. I have no idea what he does there. There's actually no real reason to struggle. From the Blue Lagoon. <laughs> to be honest, I don't give a damn, because as long as he pays his rent, he can do whatever he likes. But enough with the chit chat. She like I think she's stuck I on miss screen surgery, mode. You see, so I take every opportunity to practice. I don't have any instruments here, so I use whatever comes to hand. I hope you won't hold that against me. Hold on. Oh, There's boy. That would be horrifying. Oh, why are, where is he putting that? Have you ever noticed? Is he putting that to her vagina? As soon as you do a little housework, someone always comes calling. Like, ow! Oh my gosh! And be right back. Don't move. I won't be long. No. Hello, sir. I mean, help. <laughs> Hello, sir. I come to bring you the word of the Lord in the form of these magnificent Bibles, which I will gladly leave with you in return for a contribution of only five dollars. No thanks, I love it. Oh my God. I cannot believe that the word of the oh, no. Lord is of no interest to you. We, his humble flock, should walk in his steps. Freaking smart. Yes, sir. Uh, thanks a lot, but I don't need it. Oh my god. Almost got it. What? What? No, he's coming back. Oh my god, she's gonna die. Oh, oh my god. Are you serious? Like, I don't know why it's not working. What? That's weird. Okay. How strange. <laughs> oh no. Bap. Or not a bap. I'm on to you, sir. Ow. What? Oh no! Oh, that was a good. That was a good snack. What? 
No, oh no. Oh no. Ugh! Ha <laughs> ha! This guy is persistent. Oh yeah. Cut him. Cut a bitch. Oh, he slapped her. <laughs> Oh shit, I threw the controller. Oh, ow! <laughs> what? Oh boy. He's like, dead ass! I like when they fight back. <laughs> Troll. Kick him again. Sure keys for him. Please. Oh. Not even. Gotta kick him when he's down. Sure for him. Now we return with. Nam and Jaden. Access prohibited. For your safety, access on or around the machine is not permitted. Thursday, 2.18 p.m. 3 o'clock. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. I'm exhausted right now, you guys. Whew, I woke up at like 4 a.m. I don't know why, I just couldn't sleep. And I've been working all day. Now I'm making me some radio. Alright. Do do do, do do do, do it's raining. Oh, it's been raining this entire time. Yeah. Mad Jack is suspected of stealing the car I'm looking for. Oh yeah, Mad Might Jack! Might be worth asking him a few questions. <sighs> Feeling sick, got the sweats. Hey, Cracker! What you doing in there? Who you calling Cracker? Cracker? Nam and Jaden, FBI. Can we talk for a minute? Yeah. I'm looking for the owner of a blue Chevrolet Malibu 83. I don't give a damn how the car got here, or whether you stole it or not. I just want to know who bought it from you. Sorry, ma'am. Don't ring a bell. I got a real bad memory for names. You gotta Perhaps know Perhaps I can help you to remember. <laughs> if we find out that you sold the car to the man we're looking for, you're looking at some pretty solid time inside, Jackie boy. You trying to scam me with your big talk? I never saw your damn car. Now take a walk. How about we play ping pong and whoever wins gets an answer they're looking for? Nope, okay. I'm just gonna explore around your premises without your permission anyways. What's this? What is this? Good or no good? Same brand of tire as the car I'm looking for. Well, looky there! Is the killer's car being here? Convenient. Very convenient. Ooh, so many things. Size 10. Most likely a visitor. Fingerprints. Probably Mad Jack's. Yeah, that makes sense. More tire tracks, hmm. right? Not the car I'm looking oh, for. Oh no, I guess they're different tire tracks. 
I mean, technically they're tire tracks, but... Oh my gosh. Jason... Oh, Jackson Neville. Yeah. More fingerprints. Got it. We don't need to sit here and think about it. They, <laughs> like, won't let me move. Is that? No, nah, just fingerprints. Over it. Who's A few this? traces of blue paint. Semen. Same tire tracks. No doubt about it. Killer's car was here. Oh, we got it painted. Well, look at that. Do -do -do, do -do -do -do. What's this? Just fingerprints. Ugh, I don't care. Enough is enough. I wish they'd just stop popping up. I can't get comfortable in my chair. Don't you guys hate that when you're gaming and you get uncomfortable? It sucks. That's the worst thing about PC gaming. Which is why, like, a big reason I also like console instead of just, like, PC exclusive. Even though I prefer gaming on PC. The comfort of console is very nice. Alright, well, I think we're pretty much good here. Where's that? Is that blood? Blood? Now why is there blood here? Hmm... Interesting. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh, what is in here? It's a little Sean. Why can't we... Damn! Oh, dang! You got me, officer. I'll come clean. Now that car, she buff up real good. I painted her dangerous blue. In honor of the dangerous motherfucker that was driving her. Hands on your head, pig. I ain't got time to be playing around with you. Let's just get you out of sight and finish you off. Ooh, he's gonna finish me off. Ah, stupid. <laughs> Oh my gosh, did he just punch me in the penis? Maybe he was gonna finish this off. You should know what I mean. Really, have, I can't talk a lot during fights because I really have to concentrate, especially when I'm tired. Like right now, I'm just like, if I talk too much, things are gonna go bad. Oh, ow. Get the gun, get the gun, get the gun, get the gun! Oh, oh, I still got it. Shoot him! Is he gonna kick that bear? Enough fucking around! You're gonna tell me about the man with the blue car! Go fuck yourself in the ass! Don't threaten me with a good time. I've no time to lose, Jack! I wanna know who that car belongs to! Well, what you want don't mean shit to me. I ain't no snitch. You better just lock me up now, boy. Do you like fireworks, Jack? Cause I bet them gas tanks are gonna blow up real nice. Shit, man, don't mess with the gasoline. Well, just say it was an accident. Or rather, I'll say it was an accident cause you won't barely be able to talk, will ya, Jack? You crazy motherfucker, you out of your mind, Holy man! Holy that scared me. Well, I don't know nothing about the guy. If you wanted me to get rid of his dirty car, get him a new one with false plates. He paid cash, and I ain't the questioning kind. He said I was... Supposed to drop the word to a guy named Paco down at the Blue Lagoon when the car was done. Now that's all I know. We'll continue this discussion down at the station. You're under arrest. You have the right to remain silent. Anything. Uh oh. oh shit, not now. It's going down. 
Anything you say can and will be. Aiden's possessing hey. him. <laughs> you look like you got a problem, man. Big Jody and Beyond Two Souls. What's your nose blood? Oh my god. Oh my god, what? I only have so many fingers! Gotta use my nose next. What the fuck, man? Did he just take Turn some around. drugs? Are you serious? Drown. I'm gonna touch you inappropriately. Man, Norman, what are you doing? What are you doing with your life? Taking drugs? You see what happened to Lindsay Lohan? This isn't a fucking joke. 